Hi everyone and greetings from my man Jordan. I am Friedrich Tiedemann. I'm the author of the 101 Most Used Verbs in Spoken Arabic. And today I have a great announcement. This is the new fourth edition of the 101 Most Used Verbs in Spoken Arabic. And it is out. It is now available and we're happy to say that this edition not only is it the best edition, it's been honed and perfected to such an extent that I feel like this is really going to be our last edition. The fourth edition, let me tell you what it's not and then we can talk about what it is. Well, what it's not is it's not a translation from English to Arabic. In other words, there's, there are people out there who write books and then they want to translate it in other languages. Um, that doesn't work well for Arabic and that's probably one of the reasons why this book does so well and it reflects the work that we put into it which is 20 years I've been working at Banneden Institute and we've been working on these type of projects for many many years and I can tell you from the first edition in 2005 to this one big big changes a lot of good stuff in this edition so let's talk about the edition, what it is. The fourth edition represents another 300 definitions from the 101 most used verbs. It also reflects a brand new section that we added in on, uh, on the active participles, which are, we'll get to that in a little bit, but it's the ism and fa'al, for those of you who studied um, Arabic grammar. So from the very outset, you can see that this has uh, this has a lot more than just 101 most used verbs. The 101 most used verbs, as important as they are, uh, this book is a lot more than just that. It's not more than just verbs. It's a book of about seven different sections that really cover a lot of what spoken Arabic is in the Levant. And the Levant is Jordan, Palestine, Syria, and Lebanon. And yeah, there are some slight differences in these regional um, regional subdialects, if you will, of the Levant, but they're pretty much the same. There's not a whole lot of difference. That's why we call it the Levantine Arabic. So in Jordan and Palestine, Syria and Lebanon, the verbs you're going to hear most often you'll find in this 101 list. In fact, about 65 to 70 percent of frequency of what you'll hear in everyday Arabic uh, verbs are going to be in this 101 list. And this list in the fourth edition has been again perfected by my taking out of six verbs. I added in six new verbs, replacing six older verbs. Uh, the six new ones I feel better reflect what should be in that 101 list, which is like the platinum list of, of verbs. The ones that you really need to know and the ones that you really need to perfect and a thousand different definitions kind of gives you an idea uh, of the power of these verbs and how they span so many uses within spoken Arabic. So the first section of this book though uh, out of seven sections is an introduction and it teaches you a little bit about from a macro view what spoken Arabic is, uh, how those different um, parts of speech make up spoken Arabic and how the verb itself is a center of, of, of the Arabic language and Semitic languages in general. So the second section is the 101 most used verbs and uh, like I said we added another 300 some odd sentences so now you have over a thousand definitions uh, from those 101 most used verbs and the section after this is going to be the drill. Is going to be the um, uh, the verb inflection charts, verb inflection charts. Uh, everything you can find, possibly find, verb-wise in the Arabic language will be found in these verb charts. So there are the ten verb forms, and then there's also subforms. So there will be subforms from each each and every uh, verb form. Um, that is a powerful section. A lot of students use to help them to really, really understand how the verb uh, breaks down and all the different forms and how those forms affect the meanings. So that's a very valuable section and we include in every chart, with every single chart, we include 
um, I put in there frequent verbs used under those verbs. So um, under that particular subform. So if you have, um, let's say, chart 1A, which is form 1, uh, A, you'll find on that chart 20 some odd verbs that uh, you can use with the definitions. So those are additional verbs that we provide up to, I think it's around 900 or so verbs in those sections. So that's well over now. We're coming in on uh, close to 2,000 verbs from one book, or 2,000 definitions from one, uh, one, in one resource. Then after that, you have the inflection chart for the verbs. And the inflection chart just helps you to practice inflecting these verbs so that you can get faster and faster at it. So you have the past tense, you have a present tense, you have the um, uh, helping verb uh, uh, that's inflected from that. Then you also have the suffixes that are used, the suffix pronouns. Those are all in, that, all in the charts and you can see those very simple to use. Then you get down to the next section which is the uh, broken plural section or excuse me, the active participle section. The active participles is brand new. We took, this is kind of the missing, one of the missing parts of the 101 project is that you have verbs that maybe are not verbs but asma uh, al-fa'al which are mostly used as adjectives and maybe nouns but are also used quite often as verbs. So this active participles um, like raya, tala, nazil, these we put in a whole new section. So all the 101, the particip active participles from those you'll find in a new section. Then after that, and then of course there's sentences with those as well. Then after that, of course, is the broken plural section, which is pretty much, I think, to date, this is the only broken plurals list you'll find that's of any uh, consequence. And we actually expanded this broken plurals list. So those of you who know uh, a bit about Arabic, uh, you know that there's a lot of broken plurals in Arabic, a lot. In fact, the non-human nouns, most of them are going to be broken plurals, where the, in the internals of the uh, word change going from singular to plural. You're going to find a whole section of those right here. And uh, the number of those broken plurals is up to, I think it's a thousand broken plurals. So really, really good section there. And this time in the fourth edition, we actually took those and put them in a very systematic ordering to reflect what it already is in the Arabic language. So I call these the big dozen uh, broken plural patterns. And that's going to be in this fourth edition. The next one is uh, the nationalities. So we put a lot of national, we put names of nationalities in there for you to have, which are used a lot, especially with foreigners. Uh, we use that uh, different nationalities a lot to explain uh, who we are and who other people are. Uh, then you've got the indexes. That wraps up the final uh, sections of the book. And these indexes cover the all broken plurals from English to Arabic. So if you want to find it, you can easily find it in English uh, and then find the Arabic word coming from English. Also, all the 101, you're going to find the same thing. Every definition, every single definition in English, you're going to be able to look it up and then find the Arabic for that. This is the best edition yet. Very proud of this edition. This book, most of our superior level speakers who test into ACFEL uh, superior level, which is very difficult and a high level to reach in Arabic, uh, those of you who've taken the ACTFIL OPI in Arabic understand how hard it is to get to that level. Those students have used this book religiously. The vast majority of them, in fact all of them except for one or two that we've tested. So this book, I highly recommend you get it, not just because I'm the author, but because we've, exper we've had experience with this with our students and it will take your Arabic to a whole nother level. So see the links in the description and pick up the book. Also, almost everything in this book is on high quality MP3 audio. So that is, gonna, that is now available for download for free for anyone who purchases the book. So I hope you enjoy it and I know you're going to benefit from it. Thanks.